हेलो गाइस टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी जनरेटिंग द पिक्चर ऑफ ए वेब पेज यूजिंग पपेट एयर एंड हेडलेस क्रोम ब्राउजर सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ होल एप्लीकेशन दिस इज अ नोट जे एस एप्लीकेशन वी आर यूजिंग पपेट एयर लाइब्रेरी सो नाउ इन ऑर्ड टू रन दिस एप्लीकेशन वी जस्ट नीड टू प्रोवाइड द यू आर एल ऑफ द वेबसाइट फॉर विच वी नीड टू टेक द स्क्रीन शॉट सो हेयर वी विल रन द एप्लीकेशन राइट नोट followed by the file name which is index.js followed by the full address of the url that you want to uh, get the screenshot so let me just take the screenshot of uh, uh, google.com so i will be providing the full address so you can see that i will write google.com and enter and it will take some time and it will be gener uh, opening a chromium window and it you can see that guys it has successfully created the screenshot if i just show you Uh, this is there in, inside my. You can see that this is a PNG file. If I open this, so it will have taken the screenshot of Google. So you can see that guys, it is very easy uh, using Puppeteer library and using headless Chromium browser. So basically, the term headless here means that we are controlling the browser by the script that we are writing inside Node.js. So let me just write the script from scratch. Let me delete all the code from here and save this. so first of all i just need to import uh, puppet here here so i will be declaring a new variable puppet here and i will be requiring puppet here so in i single quotes you need to write puppet here and first of all you just need to download this library so just go to node here and type this command which is npm i and followed by the library name which is puppet here so write this command and enter it and it will be installing your chromium browser as well along with this library so it will take some time i have already installed this so that is why i have uh, uh, neglected this step so after uh, just requiring it we just need to create a new variable of url so here we will be receiving the command line uh, argument so for that we will be using process.argv and we will be taking uh, the second argument so inside square brackets we will pass second so it will take the url and now we just need to check if the user has entered a valid url or not if they haven't entered the url then we will be throwing back a message to them inside double quotes we can just write here anything that is please provide the website url something like this and uh, after this we just need to run a simple function which will be a async function the name of the function will be run and now we just need to create this so this will be async function run so inside this we just need to write some code here so first of all we will initialize our chromium browser which will be browser and it will be await i will write here await and followed by puppeteer dot launch so launch is a function which launches the browser so here we just need to provide some arguments here so let me just show you the arguments that we need to provide here inside this so these are the two arguments that we need to provide headless to true and this second argument we need to provide so let me just copy paste it and paste it inside it you can see that guys let me just put a curly bracket so inside this we just need to provide these two values headless to true and this args value so just copy this and provide this and now we have initialized our browser now we just need to create another variable of page and again we will be awaiting browser dot new page so it will open the page inside a uh, tab here so we have just uh, called this function so after this we just need to again write await and page dot there is a function which is go to so it will go to this url so we will pass the url whichever url we pass we just pass to this function which is go to so it will go to this url and lastly we just need to get the image so again await page dot screenshot so it will this is a method to uh, capture the screenshot of the page so here we just need to provide the path of the image so here we will provide the full path so here we will be storing it in the inside our root directory so we will pass uh, the name of the image that is generated so let's suppose i pass screenshot.png 
and put a semicolon and lastly we just need to close the browser also so browser dot close so that's the whole script guys so now if i save this and go to my command line and let's suppose i run this file here without providing the url so i will be getting an error that is please provide the website url that is this is the message that is printing out now if i provide the url let's suppose i this time i need to uh, provide facebook.com So it will be generating the image of Facebook so just wait so it will take some time it will open the browser asynchronously and it will take the screenshot and it will save it inside this location so now you can see that the screenshot is generated let me just open this this is a PNG file so now you will see that guys I haven't opened Facebook in my Chrome browser and yet it has uh, uh, asynchronously opened it and get the screenshot of Facebook so you can just repeat for any website as you want so this is a basic example on how you can just use this puppeteer library in a headless environment in order to capture screenshots